Bobby. Yo, I'm Bob. Into Star Wars. Happen to be totally blind since birth. Going to be unboxing an action figure from the Vintage Collection. So this should be Pre Vizsla from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Either that or it's Chopper. Either way, should be able to tell who it is. All right. Ooh, yeah. Most definitely Previsla. So Visla was voiced by John Favreau in The Clone Wars. Doesn't look like he comes with his cape. But I wasn't expecting one. Anyway. Looks like he's got his Wester 35s, the Darksaber, a helmet. That jetpack missile is sticking out of his uh, back there, in the back of the figure tray. We'll take a look at him as soon as I get him out of the tray. We'll have a closer look, back in the blink of an eye. All right, this is out of the packaging. So my Clone Wars previsla, and he's got hair whereas this guy uh, he looks like his head is somewhat shaved but i'd read at one point via star wars articles that uh, later in the war he'd changed his hairstyle i think his armor is a bit more battered and that looks like a new tool of a jetpack there that hasbro designed for him i don't think we've seen that jetpack before I would imagine it's probably a JT-12, but I, I wonder if it's supposed to have the uh, the Clone Wars animated look to it. I went ahead and decided to have him with his helmet off for starters. He's got his Wester 35s in each hand. He's got one for his left and one for his right. Nice tight joints. All right, so he, of course, comes with a helmet that you can slap onto that head. I like the design of his helmet. I think he was adding on to it as the war commenced, the Clone Wars commenced. So he has the Darksaber because he did wield that during the Clone Wars, so we get one of those. I had hoped we would get a hilt, a Darksaber hilt. I don't think we've gotten one of those in the Vintage Collection no, we, we haven't, unless the N1 Starfighter with uh, the Mandalorian comes with one. I haven't uh, opened that yet. I'm guessing it probably doesn't. It would be nice to get a Darksaber hilt at some point. Because he, I think, was able to fit it onto his jetpack. So that would have been cool to store it there, the, the hilt of the Darksaber. I remember reading at one point that he could fire these buzzsaw discs. So it would have been cool if we could have gotten some of those. I wouldn't mind a Mandalorian accessory pack with a bunch of odds and ends in there. Because, I mean, figures like previously are just begging for uh, additional accessories or different ways to arm them up and things like that. But uh, I, I give them about a 9.5 out of 10. I think mine's just a wee bit loose in the head. <laughs> But other than that, I like the design. I like the new jetpack. Uh, his blasters fit very well into his holsters on his sides. Um, and the helmet, it fits very snugly on the head. Not as, um, not as roomy as Sabine's was uh, for her. So I, I really like that a lot. Pretty good action figure. Um, guess that'll do for this short and sweet Star Wars figure review. Till next time, guys. May the Force be with you.